so all I need to marry a woman of depth are some classy threads. Ah, the horny hobo gods have smiled upon me, as always. How hard can it be to talk an old man out of his coat? In the middle of the Atlantic, in the dead of winter. Woohoo! Real scorcher, eh? Yeah, these humid jungle nights really make a man want to disrobe and jump overboard. What do you say? Are you insane, sir? The temperature is one, perhaps even zero. And actually, truth be known, I wanted to meet a certain young lady up on deck. But without formal wear, I won't be able to keep my end up. I say! of the bargain. Oh. Well, in that case, I do not say at all. So you'll do it? Might I suggest a more practical scheme to secure your maiden's favor? Well, I, I guess since he's sloshed, his body temps already about a hundred. That gentleman yonder, I fancy, would be unlikely to miss his overgarment. Yeah, but if I try to go up those stairs, the steward will eject me. Oh, that's the spirit! Tallywackery be hoop-skirted! Unless, maybe I was your guest. Why, merely use those cargo cranes to elevate yourself. A chimpanzee could manage it and cause nary a stir. Magnificent beasts. Uh, wouldn't it be easier just to walk with me? Five feet? Godspeed and the king. I am an Englishman, sir. I dictate what others do, then I blame. Right. Thanks. Oh, gee. I sure hope that a hundred years from now, getting laid is less hassle than this. This doesn't look so hard. Oh, this is easy for someone with three months of junior college under his belt. Hey there, Sonny. What do you think you're doing touching stuff you ain't supposed to? Uh, the captain needn't know. Need he? I suppose not if you help me with a problem I have with the ship's flag. Blew clean off in a nor nor'easterly gate and got widdershins up in the mizzen mast. Captain Crunch marries is mighty particular about his pole. Has one of us give it a good polish every morn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit more information than I needed. And now, if you'll excuse me... I could really be worth something to an ambitious landlubber if he was to help old Stink conquer his fear of heights by getting his flag down for him. Well, but it's not even that high up. Oh, that's the spirit, laddie. You bring old Stink that flag and I'll even let you use these here cranes. Oh, you'll let me use the crane and all I have to do is risk my life? Why didn't you say so? What a kindly old sea salt. I don't fall now. I'll just swab these here decks. Hmm, that cable looks thin. Nah, but I'm sure it's fine. It's only the last thing added to the boat. It was behind schedule and built by the lowest bidder. Well, at least I know the deck will break my fall. And every single bone in my fragile little body. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh shit, I look down. I'm not afraid of falling, just landing. Oh my fucking god, it's windy and my fucking zipper is open. <sighs> Put a draft around the old family jewels. If only I had a slender rod somewhere to help keep my balance. Thank you god for no icebergs right now. I guess you see through to my inner goodness. I, yeah, I swear, I will try to remember this. Gee, looking down at that 40-foot drop has totally distracted me from my seasickness. Thanks, gravity. Well, at least the deck should break my fall.
man, how am I gonna get over there? Oh, and he looks like a grumpy bitch. Maybe I can create a path. 